part of the interview process, I, I needed to promise big. And so I, I promised um, my bosses that would be, be looking to win national championships. But, you know, actual goals and, and the type of culture you want to create, they're, they're really hand in hand. Um, just really wanted to create a high performing environment. And that means an environment where people do their best. They, they work hard, they grow and they have fun doing that. And hopefully that people get the, the four best years of their life out of the journey. Extremely fortunate to get to work with a mentor and someone I consider one of my best friends. And so that for me has been a, a tremendous honor. And it, you know, you don't always get that. I think what separates him out is it's quite simple. I mean, he, he creates the highest performing environment in the country. And, you know, he has a saying, whether you want to be a pro or a CEO, he's going to give you guys the life skills that you need to, to help go on and achieve, whether that's on the field or off the field. And so I think his ability to nurture talent and to get the best out of each individual is what makes him stand out on a hill on his own. You talk about high performing and that's what you have at Stanford. You're surrounded by like-minded people. They figure out what they want to do, they figure out how to do it, and then they work really hard to achieving it. And then they get knocked down and they get back up and they figure out what else can I do now? How can I improve? How can I grow? It's a really, really competitive place. Don't come here unless you're willing to compete. But it's also a place that really helps you model and really helps you grow and really gives you a perfect roadmap to chase after whatever dreams you have. You know, we, we've always had a blue collar mindset. We've always been a really hard working group. I think that is first and foremost of this culture. And I think that comes from the top down. Um, and I'm always really proud of, of the compliments we get for our guys in terms of not just how they carry themselves on the soccer field, but how they carry themselves around campus. No matter what happens in terms of wins and losses, you've got a, a brotherhood that you'll always be able to count on for life. I think that the players in the first couple of years were really in the trenches. They really set the foundation for the program. And so they put in the hardest work, being the first ones, uh, first ones setting the trail type of thing. But, um, you know, it's so, so difficult. But I, I think, you know, through the years, we've had amazing captains. We've had amazing leaders in all different ways. And, and we've had amazing followers. And so, you know, we've, we've truly had an exceptional environment where people can do their best. When I first came here, um, the guys had just come off the back of the first national championship in 2015. So I started in January 2016. And, you know, the first thing for me was, um, you know, how, dedicated and committed the guys were to getting after it again right in January as soon as the, the turnaround happened and so you know hadn't been at a program that had won a national championship and then didn't have follow it up with its best year the year after it was super exciting and motivating for me to see just how how dedicated these guys were how quickly they wanted to get back after it as soon as the, the season had just finished and I think that's a testament to the environment coach Gunn had created and um, you know we had a super motivated group that wanted to go out and pursue something right after coming off the back of a, a championship. You know, I had set outcome goals to my bosses, but the goal in the program was do your best, period, every day, next play, every day. And whether you've had a good day or a bad day, it didn't matter. Just, just attack everything with the same excitement and energy. And so when you win a national championship, um, it creates it creates new challenges, but we'd set a foundation of a program that we're always working hard. We're always desperate to do as well as we can do, period. So that takes over a, a big part of what the narrative is. But even then, people are constantly changing. And when when you have great successes, sometimes you start to, um, you know, you start to cut corners. Sometimes you think you know it all. We're not going to be happy with talking about the past. How can we all improve? No matter what accolades we all received, what can you do to get better? You know, we dug deep. We looked within for answers and we, we had that great in introspection. And um, out of the different years, 2016 was, was very special in its own way because it was really against the odds. Uh, it really was at a time where we weren't fancied as a top, top team. We, we had the, you know, we had the reputation, but, you know, the way we were playing wasn't quite as good as 2015 and 17. You looked at 2016 and, um, you know, it wasn't quite as perfect as a team, if you will. Um, 
but we were displaying the, the absolute values that was the bedrock of the program, the compete level, the resiliency, the work rate. Those were the things that got us through that year. Um, I don't think we were the best soccer playing team in the country that year, whereas I would have argued it on other years, but we absolutely were the toughest. And so to me, it was special as a coach. We were displaying things that we really have to work at and have to really fight for every single day. I think the, the biggest thing for me about Stanford, you know, there's amazing academic institutions. There's some unbelievable soccer programs in the country, athletic departments in the country. But, you know, for me, Stanford is the, the mecca of putting those two things together and combining the best of both worlds. And so, you know, obviously getting to work with amazing staff is a, is a great motivator for me to be here, but also just that the student athletes that we get to work with, um, I don't think there's a better group in the country in terms of how dedicated they are to their craft and how hard they want to work. And, you know, they're all willing to put their ego in the trash and learn and, and be coached. And so as a coach, I don't think you could ask for a better environment than to be a part of, of this unique one that we have here at Stanford. Obviously, the support staff throughout the athletic department have been amazing through the decade. Um, just in eras of growth, you know, when we first started here, John and Dano were really the people that were really a massive part of our growth here and, and really got us rolling. Kirch, one of my ex-players who um, is now coaching uh, away, just was an amazing part, kind of bridging the gap in there. Charles, another of my ex-players, did amazing with that. Um, and then Shane Carew coming in, uh, one of my great friends who just had personality to the group. And, you know, uh, Ben Moan's been here last few years, but uh, the time's been more difficult because of COVID. Uh, it's been really tough. And, and obviously, Ogie's been with me for seven years. Uh, I'm surprised he's stayed that long. Um, he's, he's one of the best coaches in the country. And, um, you know, he's done an amazing job and I've, I've relied so much upon him throughout these years. You know, I think um, the, the, the thing that I'm super passionate about and I really enjoy is, is the journey that you get to go on with these guys, you know, and when you think back um, to be part of, you know, the, the national championship runs were great to come off the, the COVID year and, and win the Pac-12 in that, you know, uh, outlier of a season to have a spring season and, and to see the work that the guys did that year and the journey that we got to go on and the stories that we got to create together. That's what I'm super passionate about and super excited about to see, you know, what this next group of guys do. And we always talk to the to the guys about, you know, leaving the jersey in a better place than you found it. And so I'm super excited to see them create their own legacy and be a part of the, the next story and the next um, success that we have as a program. So when you think of the support staff, you know, I have to give the, the biggest thank you to them personally, because um, I actually know how tough I am to deal with. I, I know that uh, I think I'm an okay guy and I think people can have a lot of fun around me. But also, no, I'm a real pain. And uh, I have to thank everybody for their incredible patience and tolerance, because I don't know if I could put up with me for any longer than a few minutes. And uh, for the guys that have been around and helped the program out, um, maybe the, the players we recruited were so special that they were willing to tolerate me to be able to enjoy those moments with them. Who knows?